my name is Nicole Haraguchi. I am 11 years old in fifth grade, and I am in F Florida, United States. So I, I will share my screen. Let me just... Okay, so I will be telling everyone how to prevent the extinction of the pinyon in Brazil. So this is a pinyon, sorry, how, this is a pinyon, and it is a seed from the Brazilian pine tree, which is the Araucaria augustifloria. It is very important for timber and food, and is in local flags and many coats of arms. It is a very delicious and nutritious traditional food, and it's it's listed in the critically endangered, which is the CR, in the International Union for Conservation of Nature. So we created nine, because of this, we created nine plant, planting events, and this is for raising awareness, and this helped get Cascavel, help the local, the local, community to see this this tree and to able to learn more about it and to protect it so we wanted to so we wanted to make raise more awareness and there's and as you can see there that is like some feedback and some more additional feedback was there was six television broadcasts we were in four online news and one newspaper and one radio broadcast. So I would like to introduce the team and who really helped make this happen. And they were, the face of the project was Manu and she will be talking together with her parents. There, I also had my ambassadors and consultants, which is Dorival and Mary. There's the environment secretary of Cascavel City, which is Ne, and the KTVE reporters, which is Luis and Nina. So Manu and her parents, I would like you to, sh to share your experience with this project. So I will stop sharing for you. Okay. Manu uh, e Solanger e Valmir, por favor, se vocês puderem mostrar a experiência de vocês ou falar sobre a experiência de vocês, uh, esse seria o momento certo. Olá, tudo bem? Olá, tudo bem? Então, foi uma experiência muito incrível, né? Participar Sim. desse projeto é, em preservação do pinhão, né? Que é a Araucária. E a Manu, você gostou, Manu, de participar? Sim. Fala para a Nina se ela... Você está feliz de participar? Eu estou feliz de participar. Fala, fala mais. Fala que você está é, muito feliz de preservar a alcária, né? Você é. gostou? Sim. Uh, Foi só, uma... só, só, Solange, só para mim mostrar para eles o que vocês estão colocando... Uh, Solange is talking about the participation on uh, this project, and Solange is Manu's mother, and she is saying to everyone that her experience was, was really great, and Manu uh, had a lot of uh, very good development participating in those, and Manu herself was answering that uh, she really enjoyed and loved working in this project. Uh, so, Solange, you can continue. Você pode continuar, Solange. É, continuar falando, Sr. Ricardo? É, tem mais alguma coisa que você gostaria de falar? Não, assim, é que a gente está muito feliz né, de participar, de mostrar para o mundo né, que precisa ser preservado né, a, a nossa flora, a nossa fauna, né, e assim, e que cada um faça um, um pouco que puder, né, para estar tá oh. preservando a, a opinião, né, para que ele não se extinta. Ok. Uh, so Solange was saying that uh, for her it was not only important for Manu and her family, but it was important for the region because this is a very important tree for 
uh, that community, uh, as you've seen from Nicole's presentation. And she's very happy that she's helping uh, preserve uh, such a symbol for the region. Okay, so uh, after Solanger, Nicole, can you introduce the next? Okay, so Dorival and Mary, it's your turn. So you can, you can all, it's, you can uh, talk now. So, yes, they're there. You can share your experience, you can share your experience. Now. Yes. Mary, Emiko, Abe, Vicente. Uh, ambassador in Brazil of the If You Can Dream Foundation. The organization of the Araucaria and Esfolia Extinction Prevention Project events. Uh, the places we chose for planting were places where the population has access and the, the great importance for our city. The participation for the media in the, the Cascavel Department of the Environment was important for the people know the importance of this project. We planted in three parks and the two university and the in reserve indigenous. Uh, the plant in Rio das Cobras Reserve Indigenous was fantastic because we saw the importance for the planting Araucaria angustifolia because for some of them it could be a means of survival. It was an amazing uh, life experience, this project. Thank you. So Dor Dorival, Dorival can uh, share his experience. Does he have? Okay. Good morning. My name is Dorival Vicente. I'm agronomist. I ambassador for the If You Can Dream Foundation. I'm going to talk about the new form, the Araucaria plant. Gravity Araucaria is alternative to prevent its extension. Gravity Araucaria is the result of 30 years of research at the federal University of Paraná and Embrapa. This research is the South Brazil made possible a new form of Araucaria plant. These grafted plants produce pine nuts early in six years. Normal plant in the forest take more than 20 years to start producing pine nuts, pinon. More important was the possibility of cloning extraordinary Araucaria that produced more than 10 times more pine nuts than Araucaria plants in the forest. Grape Araucaria is the alternative for preventing extension. The pine nuts is a seed, is a seed of excellent flower and nutrition. Many species of animal in the forest feed on pine nuts, pinon. Pinon is important food in the cuisine in the South Brazil. Pinon is delicious. Huh? It's possible. Uh, food important. In tone, the technology, the pinon, the plant graft is important. Thank you.
Oh, thank you very much for showing us this seed. I was really <laughs> wondering what this looks like, but thank you very much for just showing, showing it to us. No, no, no. Okay, so um, there also there's going to be the Environment Secretary of Cascavel City, which is Ned. They can they can uh share their experience. Ney, você pode começar. Ney, you can start. É, vou falar em português, né? meu inglês não é tão fluente assim, então vou falar aqui na nossa língua. Para nós é uma honra de estar participando desse projeto, aqui desse evento junto à Fundação. Agradecer a todos os participantes, a Nicole, o Ricardo, os demais que estão presentes aqui. E também aqui o Dorival, a Meire, que são os embaixadores aqui do Brasil, da Fundação. A Manu, que é a nossa representante, é a nossa é, principal articuladora desse projeto, junto à PAI também, que é uma entidade importante aqui da nossa cidade. É, enquanto a Secretaria de Meio Ambiente de Cascavel, eu estou como secretário nesse período, é, nós recebemos com muita alegria né, esse projeto, porque a preservação da araucária, é, que traz o alimento tanto para as espécies da nossa fauna, também como os humanos, o ser humano se alimenta desse, desse produto, né? e a importância de, da espécie para a nossa mata nativa de toda a região aqui do Brasil, a região sul principalmente, onde nós temos a existência né, de alguns biomas da Mata Atlântica, que ele, ele tem essa possibilidade do desenvolvimento de, dessa planta. Então, preservar essa espécie, ela é fundamental para que a gente mantenha ela né, dentro de toda a nossa diversidade, de dentro de todo o nosso ecossistema, garantir com que essa espécie continue. Né? Então, esse trabalho que a Fundação está realizando aqui dentro da cidade, abrindo a sensibilidade das pessoas, a conscientização das pessoas de preservar, ajudar, ajudando o município, a Secretaria do Meio Ambiente, a fazer um trabalho fundamental de conservação e buscando sempre a sustentabilidade. Então, nós estamos assim participando, iniciamos esse trabalho acompanhando a fundação dentro das entidades, foram plantadas dentro na, na, no espaço da PAI, nas universidades, que também abriram espaço para nós, né, para o projeto, nessa articulação toda, e também nos espaços dos parques da cidade. Né? Nós temos os, os exemplares com o nome lá da fundação, colocando a importância, envolvendo toda a comunidade local daquele parque, também da sociedade, para saber que ali existe uma espécie diferenciada, a qual né, o Dorival, através da fundação, trouxeram aqui para Cascavel, né, essa espécie enxertada, que ela tem toda uma modernidade de estudos em cima disso, né, que vai fazer também a garantia da, de manter essa espécie. Então, a Secretaria do Meio Ambiente busca junto com é, a entidade, aprimorar esse projeto. Nós está, vamos continuar trabalhando junto, né, trabalhar para que esse projeto vá adiante e que ele se expanda. E a gente quer agradecer, em nome do prefeito municipal de Cascavel, Leonardo Paranhos, né, de toda a equipe da Secretaria Municipal de Meio Ambiente, é, agradecer a Fundação por essa iniciativa, por essa iniciativa importante para a preservação da Araucária. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Secretary Haveroth. Uh, so everyone, for uh, for you just to understand a little bit more on what uh, Secretary Haveroth told us, uh, he said he is very grateful that the foundation and the team that worked together on doing this project uh, was, was really successful. Uh, he has been working with the team to provide locations for the municipal parks in the city. And he's also grateful that not only the municipal parks, but also universities and even Indian reservations near the location in Cascavel uh, were uh, basically were receiving uh, the Araucaria. And since this is a, a, an important Araucaria uh, grafted with additional technology that will provide uh, better uh, seeds and, and, and earlier. 
he said that this is a really very important step uh, for us to be able to provide the continuation of this species, which is in, in danger and in the location there. So what he resumed is that uh, the, the secretary uh, not only thank for, from himself, but also he is bringing us uh, the thank you coming from the mayor of this Cascavel city and the whole team that works with the secretary there in his cabinet. So he said uh, he wants to continue this work together with the foundation and the team that is developing this project that is very important for his region. Thank you, secretary. Obrigado, secretário. Obrigado, obrigado, Ricardo. A gente está usando aqui o e-mail da, da, da Meire, né? estamos juntos aqui, unidos aqui nesse, nessa participação, né? então estamos usando o mesmo áudio aqui, o nome dela aí, então nessa participação, nós queremos agradecer em nome de todo o município e essa fundação e com certeza nós vamos estar continuando junto nesse projeto. Thank you. Então, nós, uh, we are going to really hear uh, from him and from the foundation uh, additional information because we may plan to continue this work. So, Nicole, uh, you are... Uh... Yeah. Okay, so, so next, uh, Luis and Nina, it's your turn. So, I don't think Luis is here. Is Luis no, here? No. Okay, then Nina. Nina is here. Nina is here, yeah. Okay, Nina, it's your turn. Olá a todos. Eu sou a Nina Piastrelli, jornalista aqui em Cascavel. Acompanhei, né, pela, tive a segunda oportunidade aí, pela segunda vez, de ter esse contato com a Nicole, com o Ricardo, o pessoal que teve essas iniciativas, o ano, a oportunidade anterior a respeito de um concurso é, envolvendo a PAI, né, com uma misa aqui de Cascavel, e agora com esse projeto super importante do plantio de araucárias aqui em Cascavel. É, aqui na nossa cidade, né, como assim no nosso estado, a araucária é um símbolo muito importante, inclusive ela faz parte da bandeira aqui do nosso estado, e aqui em Cascavel, especialmente na década de 50, 40, década de 50, é, haviam muitas mudas né, de araucária aqui na, na cidade. E nessa época também havia cerca de 100 serrarias, né, essas é, empresas assim, contratadas para fazer casas, comércios, e essas araucárias aí acabaram é, sendo, de, é, foram cortadas né, para então é, seguir o rumo aí das cidades. E agora, com esse projeto de restauração das árvores né, dessa espécie em específico, foi muito importante aqui para a nossa cidade, a nossa região como um todo, porque o ano passado também a Prefeitura de Cascavel teve o início de uma atividade de reflorestamento com araucárias. Mais de 100 mudas começaram a ser plantadas aqui em Cascavel justamente para fazer esse resgate. E esse ano, então, né, com esse projeto aí, junto com, com a Nicole, né, os pais dela, a Meire, aqui também a Secretaria de Meio Ambiente, teve também essa, esse olhar para essa árvore, símbolo do nosso estado e tão importante também para a nossa cidade, né? plantando mudas né? com, um, um, com um tempo de, de produção, de crescimento um pouco acelerado, né? com uma genética diferenciada para ter uma produção um pouco mais rápida. Então, é, mostrar isso para a nossa comunidade, mostrar isso para os nossos telespectadores, né? como a oportunidade que a gente teve, é, ressaltar todo esse trabalho, a beleza desse trabalho e também dar importância devida né, a esse trabalho, a essa ação promovida aqui. É, eu, como jornalista, né, podendo retratar toda essa ação, fiquei muito feliz né, de poder mostrar isso para a nossa comunidade e também ter contato com essas pessoas é, tão queridas e tão envolvidas nesse projeto que faz toda a diferença aqui 
para a nossa flora é, cascavelense e também do Estado, porque eu acredito que é todo um conjunto, né? beneficia várias pessoas, ajuda a nossa mata, os animais, é todo um conjunto de ações que faz toda a diferença e com certeza é muito importante para a gente. Fico muito feliz de ter é, podido, é, ter é, conseguido é, fazer parte desse momento relatando isso a outras pessoas. Muito obrigada. All right, so are we going to hear uh, the translation or maybe the highlights of what Nina told us? Yeah. Sorry, we, just, we were muted. Let me just provide you some uh, tra translation of what Nina told us. Uh, so Nina, uh, thank you for your, uh, for your feedback. Uh, Nina basically uh, provided us some information initially on the work that she's been doing already with this team. Uh, she's been working with the APAI of Cascavel. It's a school for students with special needs. And we've been doing some projects already. And this is another project that uh, she is participating. Uh, she emphasized that uh, it is important for us to protect these trees. Uh, in the 40s, uh, 50s, uh, these trees were all cut for timber. So uh, right now we are only about 3% of the area that uh, the Araucaria used to uh, occupy in this region. So it's really, really important for them uh, to preserve that, that tree. And it's a symbol, as you know, for uh, the region there. Uh, she also uh, provided some information in terms of what the uh, city of Cascavel is doing. Uh, last year, they had uh, some planting events uh, of around 100 trees. And uh, these planting events that we're doing uh, right now for her, uh, it was really important because we are not only planting trees, but we are basically uh, having additional technologies using grafting, enabling us to have a much better tree uh, that will be planted there that will provide nuts uh, much earlier and it will help save this species uh, from extinction because she uh, was able to provide the community there through the TV uh, broadcast station, uh, the, the advantages of having this additional technology be implemented into the tree and, and that was really important. So she summarized that for her, it was really very, very important uh, for uh, her to be able to provide all that information to the community. So as a reporter of CATVE in Cascavel, uh, she was really very happy uh, to be able to work with this team until completion and expect to have uh, additional work together. So, uh, Nicole, uh, your turn. Okay, I just want to thank the team so much for helping making this all happen and helping this project. And I just want to thank you so much. And I would like to share one more thing. Uh, you have to share this what screen. You have to share this screen. Okay. So, so not only I will not only we're helping the the Arcaria Augusta Floria tree and preventing it from extinction, but we're also trying to help other species from going extinction, such as like animals and I was able to we were able to help protect the one of like a small monkey in the Philippines and how to like do this is that volunteers can 
do like small tasks like do a draw draw a drawing or like posts on social media or pray etc of the animal that you want to that you want to help or or save and there's also there was also a home page created for these information which you can see over there and there's also a facebook group that was created and a podcast and a vlog will be created soon so i will stop share and if anyone has any questions you can ask now well before we have questions we really want to appreciate for all the good work that you are doing it's such a wonderful Thank work so nicole much. and i'm super happy because i've been seeing your project like since a couple of gifts ago when you just started and now when i see your community involved in it and i could hear these people talking about it and i could hear them like not just appreciating you but just supporting you it's so good to see it so i'm so happy that your project is just growing as a child and it's just just growing as a at a massive scale but one thing that i have just as a suggestion maybe or as a question maybe do you have plans to go and extend the similar campaign for other plants as well or maybe other um other extincting things that are really helpful like this pinoyo plant yes that's what i talked about like helping like anim- helping like uh animals that are about to go to extinct so those are what i was talking about and trying to like say that i'm trying to also help them as well those yeah, i think you should share your contact detail with people and people can tell about tell you about some plants about some species that are on the edge of extinction or people want you to help them so that would be a wonderful thing if you provide them your email address maybe oh, your okay. website as you said or maybe your contact details maybe at youtube or online and they have some plant and they know some plant or maybe some other species that really need nicole's in, uh, um, organization's help they will extend to you they will tell you hey nicole this needs your help or um if you dream foundation needs this help and you can help those people so i do i i have like this uh website for it do i put it here it also has yes email. you can share your screen with the website as well or you can just put it on our youtube where it's going live as well whatever you wish and you can tell people give them a call say if any species needs if you if you dream foundation's help we you can they can extend to you okay so um th- thank you so much and you can if, if you can see like those animals over there there's on the bottom it shows my you it, you it shows my website and it has my email on there as well and if you just want like the whole website is the i is www.iycd.org and the slash is for like like what topic that you want great i mean the, the the campaign that you started off with the plant is one of the most uh, i mean finest campaigns that i've seen uh, to save extinct species so well done nicole thank you so much i couldn't have done it without the team they really helped me a lot yeah i can Sorry. see that how the community members are supporting alex you have something to say Um first of all it's an am- it's amazing work and thank you for sharing but uh my question is can you actually grow the pine on tree on Philippines are you actually growing it No you can't uh you can't grow it in other areas you can only plant it in like that southern brazil area Oh mm-hmm. Uh but Alex you can always try by the way You can try growing different species, different areas, and you can just tell, "Hey, this is my success story," right? Yeah, because it needs like cold areas, so that that's so. But, but 
But like, you, Nicole like, and Alex, kids like you can do anything, right? You can, yeah, uh, like, like, I don't know yeah. what you will invent, maybe a cold, but, a cold room. Yeah, yeah, yeah like you said, you can try if you want to. I, I, I would like to uh, congratulate all the uh, adults from Brazil. Um, let, let me explain. We, we often in, in this gift, we have students come on who um, are very young and they have wonderful ideas and lots of enthusiasm. But frankly, they're still very young and they're children. They can't make it happen. And here we have a situation where a lot of adults, important adults in Brazil, stepped forward and said, yes, we are going to be part of this. And I want to congratulate you. Um, it's very easy for adults just to talk and say, oh, yes, we want to do that. But you have made a real commitment. And I, I think you are to be congratulated and you um, should be very, very proud of what all of you are doing together. This is wonderful. So, Mr. Melanson, I will uh, translate this to the Brazilian team because I think this is yes. an important message for them. Uh, todos vocês do time uh, do Brasil uh, que participaram deste evento, o senhor uh, Mendelson. Uh, que é o coordenador desse evento, ele está realmente agradecendo a vocês. Normalmente, esse evento, a gente vê muitas crianças mostrando suas ideias, mas nesse caso em particular, não só a Nicole mostrou a ideia, mas todos vocês realmente entraram e participaram ativamente, e isso é muito importante uh, para ele, e, portanto, ele realmente agradece a cada um de vocês a essa participação que vocês tiveram. Uh, muito obrigado, então. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. So, Nicole, Nicole, Nicole one, yeah. one more, one more thing before you go. I and I'm sorry, I, I had to drift off for a second. Did you explain to people why you got involved in in changing the world from your own life? So. I I have a foundation and it and I help a lot of people around the world and I see like the you know all those like disasters disasters like you know typh typhoons in the Philippines uh, uh floods in Venice or wildfires in Australia so then I wanted to look deeper into those and to see and i realized that there was also like there was there's this uh tree that was going extinct and it was caught my eye because it was with my favorite type of food which is the pinyon as you can see here and it is i would would not i would love to still have one of my favorite foods still there and it's so i would love to i decided to help this because it's also very important to Brazil as well. So, and then I am, I decided to help them and then all, and all this rest of the team, I'm, thank you so much for helping me and supporting me in this as well. Very good, thank you. Thank you all. And helping Brazil is not just important to Brazil, it's important to the entire world because what Brazil can do other countries can do and should do. And Brazil will be the leader in showing the world how to move forward. And if you want to translate that into Portuguese, I think that's important for them to hear. Okay, uh, I will translate in Portuguese. Uh, o senhor Melnerson, que é o coordenador do evento, ele está falando a vocês todos aí no Brasil, uh, que realmente vocês estão uh, na linha de frente e que esse ponto realmente é muito importante, não só para o Brasil, mas também para o mundo. Então, uma árvore que você está salvando no Brasil, na verdade, está ajudando o mundo todo. Portanto, ele agradece a todos vocês o trabalho que vocês fizeram nesse evento e em eventos futuros que a gente vai dar continuidade. Obrigado a todos vocês. Thank you, but, Mr. Melderson. I, I'm just saying because when something bad happens in a country, everyone in the world hears about it. But when something good happens, they don't hear. And I think it's very important that the world hears about the good things that are happening as well as the bad. 
É, o senhor Melderson é, também disse que muita gente, muitas vezes a gente ouve muito mais coisas acontecendo no mundo, mas quando coisas boas acontecem, elas não são divulgadas. Portanto, esse é um trabalho que é muito bom e realmente deveria ser divulgado. Ele agradece a vocês novamente. Congratulations to Brazil. Congratulations, Brazil. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you so much for all the work that you gave that. Thank you so much. Okay, we have our, our next presenter, and I'm going to be moving some things around. Thank you, thank you Nicole, and thank you, everyone from Brazil. Thank you, thank you so much for having have the best of success. Yeah. And I would love to hear in the next gift, what other species are you helping? Thank you. 